Welcome to another video in the Order to Cash playlist. I have started this playlist a while ago to explain the different processes related to Order to Cash or sales, and now the playlist already has more than 20 videos. Today I will add a new process, which is the process of standard sales from stock with evaluated stock in transit and the proof of delivery. This is a process we use when we have an agreement with our customer that we deliver the products to a certain location outside our warehouse and we would like to be able to track the stock that we issue from our warehouse until it arrives to the delivery location so we want to see this stock in our reports in finance and in logistics in the video today i will explain the process overview so i will explain the different steps included in the process and also i will explain the accounting entries This process is very similar to the standard sales from stock process that I explained before. I will leave you a link to the other video here. The difference is that for the goods issue, we have two steps instead of one. In the first step, we issue the products from our warehouse into the transportation method that will take the products to the delivery location. At this time, these products are considered as stock in transit. Here we have an accounting entry that will credit our normal stock. So we have credit inventory and will debit stock in transit. And this we can see in all our financial records and we can also see in the inventory reports of the system. Once the products arrive to the delivery location and we transfer the ownership of the products to the customer, we post the second step of the goods issue, which is called proof of delivery. In this step, we have an accounting entry that will credit our stock in transit and will debit the cost of goods sold account. This process is available by standard on SCEPS for HANA. It requires some minor configuration. In the next video, I will show you how to run this process end-to-end -end on SAP S4HANA 2020. Let me know if you have ever used this process before and let me know if you have any other business requirements related to this. I would be looking forward to your comments. And if you have any questions, let me know also. Don't forget to check the rest of the videos in the playlist and also subscribe to the channel to see the coming videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.